In this lesson, we'll talk about environment overrides. Let's start with an interactive render. Then open your V-Ray Asset Editor, go to the Settings tab, and twirl down the environment parameter here, and you'll see environment overrides here. Go ahead and click. Environment overrides are used to override GI, reflection, and refraction calculations with either a color or a texture. When the environment overrides are not checked on, then it defaults to the background. So in this case, all of our reflections and refractions are being driven by the background texture associated here. Let's start by overriding the reflection. Go ahead and click on this icon here to turn that on. Notice now that the override is set to black. Let's draw a region around just this section of the window here. And let's change this color to something like red so it's a little more obvious what we're doing. Now you can't see it right away because of the exposure, so you can use the multiplier just to the right. I'll set that value at 10, and now you can more easily see the impact. Let's set this to a texture instead. Go ahead and click on this icon here, and we'll pick bitmap. Then from the Assets folder, go ahead and pick the default dome light texture and click Open. Then click on the UVW parameter, and let's switch this option here to UVW Gen Environment. Then go ahead and click the Back button, and we'll adjust this multiplier back down to 1. Now let's make sure we match up the background here. So right click on this option and copy, and then up in the background, go ahead and paste. Then clear your region and let V-Ray re-render the scene.